Phone, Chapter 34. Uff, can you see anything, Phone Phone? Not yet. Uh, almost. Well? Bad news. I don't recognize anything. Still lost. Jeez, we've been lost for days. What are we going to do? We ran out of bread this morning. We haven't had a bath since... Hey, move your foot. Oh, I'm sorry. You're standing on my hoe. Mm. We might be more lost than we were before. Stand by, Smiley. I'm coming down. Hey, Smiley. You listening? What? Oh, yeah. Come on, I'm watching. Don't you. step on my hole again. I won't. What did you say? I said don't step on my hole. Okay, whatever. Coming down is a lot harder than going up. Just trust your hands. I got gotcha. you. Back up, back up. But I have to stand here. What if my cousin falls? Don't I got rights? How is it my fault if he falls? Don't blame me, mister. Uh-oh. I'm not blaming you. Jeez. All my life, I've been blamed for everything. That's your own fault, you know. <laughs> Whoops. Hold on, little pal. I'll get you out of there. Well, bless my stars. Smiley, it's me, Ted the Bug. Ted, you found us. We're saved. You guys want easy to find? Let me tell you, I've been all over the place. After all the rumors I heard, I was getting worried. Rumors? What rumors? Say, Ted, give me a hand here, will you? Sure, glad to help. Uh, 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 Yay, phone bone! Hey, phone bone, look who's here. We're saved. Tad. Phone bone, did he say phone bone? Yeah, I said phone bone, and this is him. Oh, oh, oh my, you're the one they're looking for. The one who killed King Doc. Killed King Doc? What are you talking about? I didn't kill anybody. Stay away from me, you guys is trouble. But wait, I didn't kill King Doc, I swear. How could I? He's gigantic. Besides, the last time we saw that dude, he was alive. That's not what I heard. I heard that King Doc is dead, and there's a rumor going around that Bone killed him. What? Maybe Rockjaw killed him. Yeah, yeah, we saw a giant mountain lion named Rokejaw attack King Doc a few days ago. Tore him up pretty good, too, but he was alive after that. Is Thor okay? Is everything all right? From the top of the mountain, we saw the columns of smoke coming from the forest. It's bad, Bone, real bad. That's why I've been looking for you. Tell me, is she okay? Last I saw Dawn, she was rescuing the great red dragon from Phony Bone's lynch mob. Oh, no! I knew it. I knew it had something to do with Phony. What happened? Dawn saved the dragon, but at that very same moment, the rat creature invaded the valley. That's the smoke you saw. Those monsters are burning everything in their path. Oh, my gosh. Luckily, nobody's been killed yet, as far as I knows. But lots of folks is homeless and scared. Wait till I get my hands on that no-good, selfish cousin of ours. Him hey, and that stupid star shirt he always wears. Ever since we came to this valley, the rat creature has been searching for the one who bears the star. Because they think Phony's a threat to them. And now they're searching for you, because they think you killed King Duck. You know what the worst thing is? Because of us, the enemy knows Thor is a member of the lost royal family. Now she's a danger, too. Maybe that groundhog was right. We are trouble. <sighs> well, come on, Ted. Take us back. Let's get to the bottom of this one who bears the star business before someone really does get hurt. Or worse. What a mess. I can't understand how she could leave us like that. Move over, runt. You're stepping on my feet. Sorry. Maybe we should stop. I can't see my hand in front of my face. Hey, what did I say? That was your last warning, Bone. I'm sorry, it's slippery. We'll never find Old Man's Cave this way. I just can't believe Thorne would do this. Well, believe it. She slipped off in the middle of the night without saying a word. And now we're wandering around out here blind. Thorne could have found her way through this rain. She could find her way in the darkest night like she was following a map. Yes, she could. It's uncanny. She follows the dragons in the earth, just like the dragon told her. Oof. Yeah, well, she's following dragons somewhere else. Forget her. We got problems of her. <laughs> hey, that's it. I've had it. Euclid, save it for later. There could be rat creatures 20 feet away for all we know. Where's your little princess now, huh, Bone? She's not here to save you. Put him down, Euclid. Stay back. I've had it with this troublemaker. This is all his fault. All right, that's enough. I don't know where Thorn is, but until she gets back, I'm enforcing her orders. You're a fool, Wendell. She ran out on us last night. What do you care what she wants? I care because she's a harvest star. Harvesters were wiped out 15 years ago when a Thayer was sacked. There's nobody alive with that name. There have been rumors for years the little girl survived the massacre. Yeah, I know. And old Grandma Ben is the lost queen of the valley. Halt! Who's there? There's a war on, gentlemen. Control yourselves. Or I'll pick you both up and knock some sense into you. Grandma Ben, where's my granddaughter? Where's Thorn? She was with us last night, but we got up this morning and she was gone. I'll find her. Lucius, you're alive! Come with me. We're near the cave now and you can dry off. Th that's amazing. Lucius took off after Thorne without a second thought about his own safety. That's right. He's a very remarkable man. I'm surprised you noticed, Fonsible. Come, it's not safe out here. You'll catch your death. Can't freeze in, phone bone. Can't we stop for a minute? We gotta keep moving, Smiley. Try to keep your mind on other things. But I'm getting so sleepy. Pinch yourself. We have to get back. I'm worried that something bad has happened. 
Talk to him, Ted. We can't stop now. It's like I told you, Smiley. The red creatures have attacked. We's at war. The rats marched across the northern end of the valley, straight east to west, burning farms and terrorizing the populace. There's no time to waste. Grandma Ben and some of the Vinian monks have taken up residence in Old Man's Cave. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh that. Uh-oh. Rat creatures. Uh, I don't think these are the same stupid rats we know. Go on, beat it. If you're not going to eat us, take off. We don't have time to fool around. These small creatures are brave. They are bone creatures, but they have no star. Could these be the bone creatures who have slain our king? Not possible. These creatures are too small and helpless. Let us kill them. Hey, we're not that helpless. We could have killed King Duck as good as anybody. Stop! Get away from my friends. A flatlander. I said step away. Dawn! <gasps> Look what it has. Back. I mean it. Back up. King Duck's war club. Here, phone call. I brought something of yours. Aye! Ah, how can it be? Run! The creature truly is the King Duck Slayer. Yeah, you bet he is. Now take off before he gets really mad. Arr. Think they're gone? I can't see him. Don't worry, they're gone. Woohoo! Thanks, Dawn. You showed up just in time. The dragon would be proud of me, wouldn't he? I'll say. That rescue was as last minute as any the dragon ever made. Any day. <laughs> Gosh, it's good to see you again. You too. And I'm probably going to get in big trouble for coming. Hiya, Tony. It's me, Ted the Bug. Why is you going to get in trouble for? Grandma Ben wanted me to meet her at Old Man's Cave. She's looking for me. Speaking of which, we better get moving. We're kind of lost. Even Ted can't tell which way is which in this ring. Yeah, Thorny. Which way is Old Man's Cave from here? Well, let's see. That way. Old Man's Cave is directly that way. Wow. We were heading in the wrong direction. Great. Let's get going. Grandma's a wait on us. Hey, Thor, you go the wrong way. You just said Old Man's Cave is this way. We're not going to Old Man's Cave. There's nobody there we can trust. Now come on, we need to find shelter. But my lord, I offer these rumors of King Duck's death as proof that the bones are powerful magicians. How else can we explain it? King Duck was attacked, yes, but he lives. Your obsession with these outsiders, especially the one who bears the star, begins to concern us. I must have a partner to tip the balance. Two together are necessary to perform the ritual. You know this. Use the girl. If you truly wish to free us, you would have brought the princess before us. Many attempts have been made to reach the Vinayankari, but she has awakened and repels our calls. Also, there are other ways to shift the... Silence! Enough about the star bearer. Master, please do not be angry. Our plan is working. Our military objective to cause a widespread fear and panic has been accomplished. We have swept across the valley and back, destroying every farm in our path. The Flatlanders are becoming disconnected. The Star Bearer has helped by sowing seeds of distrust against the dragons. Reach out. Do you not feel it? The balance is shifting. Soon you will be free. Yes, it is true. We are coming closer to the surface. Then hear me, O oh Lord. The Princess surely has the power to free you, but she also has the strength to destroy you. Perhaps you are jealous of the Princess, and that is why you prefer the Star Bearer. Master, I am but your humble servant. I merely propose that the Vinayankari is more powerful and poses a greater risk, should it become necessary, to perform a sacrifice. And she would take your place as our eyes and hands. Please, my lord, if you could see the omen, you would know that the one who bears the star is a Vinayankari. The two of us will be able to shift the dreaming, and with less risk to yourself. Yes, you are right. Yes, for now at least. You are our eyes. You are our eyes. If this omen, that is, if this omen that announced the one who bears the star is as powerful as you say, then you may continue your search for this creature. But if you are wrong, then be prepared for your end to be very, very... <laughs>